I student myself, Dr. Dhampal Singh, Associate Professor of Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Jazz College of Your paper is the formal language and automata theory and paper code is CS403. Okay, so already we know that what is the prerequisite of the topic? Data logic, computer organization, and computer fundamentals. And these are the course outcomes already we are familiar from the previous lectures. And this is a COPO mapping of the your course outcome with the program outcomes. Now these are the course contents. Right now we are in the model one. Now today we are going to learn about the Mahil Narrow theorem. Okay. So uh, here we have to know that the Mahil Narrow theorem is mainly used for the deterministic finite automata. Okay. So this is very important. By using this uh, this theorem, we can minimize the DFA in the very minimum steps. Okay. And also Mahil Narrow theorem state that if you see here. This, uh, suppose the language L is there, which is the subset of the input alphabet, then the DFA accept the L, then I can say L is direct. So it is very important whether we can check there whether the grammar is L, uh, uh, regular or not. So there is right variant equivalent relation of a finite index such that L is the union of some equivalent classes of. Means the by using the uh, this mild theorem, we can, we can also find the. Uh, equivalent classes of the L if I take the union there and L is also the finite index will be there here it is saying that when you perform the union it must be the your finite index so now we are going for the main method which we are going to discuss uh, today Mahul narrow theorem is there okay so suppose this type of <coughs> DFA is given that so first tell me whether it is DFA or not So here uh, for the every same input we are getting only single step. You can see if I take one single state here, one single. So this is the DFA obviously. Okay. So when you go for the design of the Mahul narrow theorem, first step is that we have to go for the sequence of steps. So it is saying that draw a table of all pair of states P and Q. So here I can say how many states are there. A B, C, D, E, F. We have to draw the row for that and similarly for the column there. But as you know that A or A, it is a meaningless there. So we have to cross this part where the combination of things are there. This means upper end of the table there. It means like A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F. Okay, so this way we have to cross. The first one is the we have to draw the table of all pair of states P and Q. Mark all pair where P in final state and Q in a not in final state. Means very carefully listen here. It's saying that suppose I want to make the things between B or A. We have to check them. B will be the final state. And this will be the non final state. We are not able to make the tick between final final state or non non final state. Now you can check it. Suppose I want to make the pair between B or A. So I can see that B is the non final state and A is non final. So there will be no tick will be possible. Okay, now you can go for C or A. I can see that the A is the non final state, C is the final state. So, tick is possible here. Similarly, if you go for the suppose uh, C or B, you can check C or B, it is possible you can check here. Because C is the final state and B is the non final state, tick is possible. Similarly, if you go for D, A, D is the final, A is the non final, tick is possible. D or B, it is final, it is non final, possible. D or C, 
both are the final state so peaking not possible it will be the line now e or a e the final a the non final peak is possible e or b final non final peak is possible e and uh, what is this uh, c not possible because both are the final state similarly f or a not possible because both are the non final state a for b not possible because both are the non final state a for c it is possible so this is the non final sorry non final also and this is the final a for d possible a for e possible why because it is non final it is final so if you go in this way we can see that we can get this figure there okay this figure is possible what we have drawn the earlier case you can see this figure is possible there okay so this step we have covered okay now the second is uh, third one is saying that if there are any unmarked pair p or q such that transition of p and q means the both the input 1 or 0 q both the input 1 and 0 is marked then mark the pq okay so what is the meaning of this one and we have to repeat this one until no more marking can be made now we have to see that what is the pair this is a b and a okay so we have to check that whether the b and a any movement is present or not now we can check in this figure And A taking the zero, it is going to the B there. You have to check that AB is marked here. AB is marked here, no. So there is no need to go for the marking. So we have to take, check it from the zero. So now you have to check for one also. So by taking the one, it is going to the C. And by taking the B one, it is going to D. You can see here. So we have to check CD is marked or not. C because D is not there, so not marked, so it is not possible. Similarly, we can go for the this part D or C. You can see that we are getting this state. We are getting this state. Single states are there. Okay, now we have to go for the this one E or C. Again, we are getting this one. Again, we are getting this one. If you go for the E or D, means this pair, means this part. Again, you can get E, E, and it. all are getting the single. So nothing is possible, means we are not going to mark anything. Now go for the F, A. We are getting the for the this one. If you go for transition table, F, 0, we are getting the F, 0 itself. And the A. If I say the zero, it will go the B. So you have to check if B is the mark or not. A for B, not mark, so not is possible. Similarly, for one on this, you have to check A for C. Here I can see that A for C is marked. You can see this part. This is marked. If it is marked there, what is the pair A for A? So you have to pick also here. to also the pick in this place there now you can see okay so what is he saying that after making the pick here we have to repeat this one and marking can be do until and unless there is no changes in table there so when you repeat this one you can see there will be the no changes will be there whatever the things are present here it will be the same okay so now the step number uh, four is saying what? Combine all unmarked pair and make them a single state in the minimized DFA. So what are the unmarked pair here? This is unmarked. I can if I put the cross here and say these are the unmarked. These are the unmarked pair means A B. If I go for alphabetic or the C D. 
then CE, then DE, then BF. These are the your unmarked pairs are there. Okay. So here the one mistake is there. If you see this part A for B, they are getting the A for A or FA is the tick here, so it will be tick. Okay. Be not present here, it will be tick. So if you go for here, you can see that if I take the AB for G0, we can get the FA. Now FA is tick here, so it will be also tick. Okay, so there is no mistake. So now uh, after this one, what I can say, this is unmarked, this is unmarked, this is unmarked, this is unmarked. So four pair we can generally get. Okay, A, B, C, D, this one. So in the diagram, if you see this diagram, this diagram, you have to combine all the things like what? A or B. Suppose A or B is the not marked. So you have to combine the all unmarked pairs. Okay, so you have to combine in this way. Similarly, C or D is not present, so you have to combine in this. Similarly, E or C. This. Similarly, uh, E or D. So this is the same thing we have done here. After the combining these two, I can write A, B. So if you see this part, C, D, E, all are the just combination like this. Single state, you can see. This combination, this combination, and this combination, all are single. So I can write C, D, E as a single pair. And F is alone, so you have to write the F alone. Okay. So now you can see, you have to already minimize this one. A, B, is the, here I can see A is the initial state, so make A as the initial state. And you can see C, D is the final state, so make C, D as the, your final state. Okay. Now, A or B, it, we can also uh, see from this transition table, A taking the zero, it is going B, or B taking zero, going to a shell. Things are there, so you have to make this type zero. And from one, it is going to D, and from uh, one, it is going to C. And D or C belongs to this state, so you have to mark this one as the one. So here, if you see the zero, C taking the zero going to E, D taking the zero going to E, okay, and E taking the zero going to E also. I mean, same things are there, so that region, this mark is given there. For the zero, the, your state will be the same state. And for one, you can see it is going to F, from C going to F, from E going to F there. So this is region, it is. And F is as it is, so it is written this part. So this is the your minimize DFA of given transition uh, system here. Okay. So I hope that it is clear to you. So thank you, my dear student.